All right, so in this lecture, we're going to go over the health continuum. When I ask people, is fitness important to you, right? I'd say the majority of you know, people say yes. Obviously, fitness is, is important. We look to be more fit. But even then, I mean, some people might say, like, eh, fitness, yes or no, could be. Um, but if you ask the question, is health important to you, I bet almost everybody would say yes. Health is absolutely important to me, along with family and working and um, you know, enjoying life. Your, your health is going to be something that takes top priority. Fitness is really just an expression of health. Right? So in CrossFit, we, we have this thing. It's called the, it's called the health continuum. I'll write that up here. Right? Basically, this is a good way to, to think about health, to look at it as almost like a bank account, like a savings account. All right, so I'm going to draw up here what's called the health continuum. And there's three points along this continuum. On one side, you have sickness. All right? On one side, you have fitness. In the middle, you have wellness. Basically, what we're saying is these are all expressions of your overall health. Are you sick, are you well, or are you fit? All right? uh, some different ways to measure this, to know whether you're sick, well, or fit. All right? You can take indicators such as percent body fat, maybe. Maybe your blood pressure. Maybe your resting heart rate. Uh, cholesterol levels. Okay, bone density could be a good one. Maybe even BMI, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's tons of different indicators. Think about like your normal checkup at a doctor's office, all the kind of things that they look at um, when you go in. So certain levels of these will take you over to sickness. Certain levels of these will take you over to fitness. Obviously, in CrossFit, we're chasing fitness. We're chasing fitness for the purpose of becoming the healthiest person possible. And going back to what I said just a second ago, we want to start looking at health as a savings account. So throughout your lifetime, can you invest enough time into your fitness to get yourself onto this side of the spectrum, right? What we believe is that it's almost impossible to go from fitness straight to sickness, as it is impossible to go from sickness straight to fitness. In other words, the further you are on this side, the longer it will take you to fall back through to wellness and back over to sickness. So throughout your lifetime, can you get over to this side? And once you're over to this side, can you drive a huge wedge into this continuum that would make it even you know, longer for you to eventually fall over into the sickness side of things? This is, this is your health savings account. Imagine depositing money from now until you're 70 years old, you know, let's say $100 a month or $200 a month into a savings account. By the time you're 70 years old, you're going to have this amount of wealth that when you, you can retire, stop working, stop saving, and you'll be able to spend that money. And eventually, obviously, you'll run out. Same thing is true here. You invest time now in your fitness, into your health, to get as far over here as possible so that when you decide it's time you know, to stop working out, to stop worrying about it so much, it's going to take you a lot longer to fall back through to sickness. All right? And this is your health continuum. This is one of our uh, principles in CrossFit and what we're chasing. Booyah.